Hey guys, um, I'm filming this in my hotel room because I have nothing better to do since TanaCon got canceled. This weekend was promised to be filled with the possibility to meet all my favorite creators for free or for the small price of $65 with the purchase of a VIP ticket. There's a lot to say, so I'm just gonna cut straight to it. As a VIP member, you were promised main stage, gift bags, private meetup groups, exclusive content, and personalized messages from creators via text, private singing opportunities, panels slash Q&A, personal picture, and more. Wow, that seems amazing. But let me tell you what $65 got me. It got me a disgusting sunburn on my shoulders, chest, and scalp. Yes, my scalp, I didn't even know that was possible, but it looks like I dyed my scalp down the middle where my part is. Didn't even know that could happen, but it did. We had a really bad sunburn for waiting in line for four hours for literally nothing with hardly any water being given out. Not really any updates as far as what's going on and why this line is taking so long. We had to stand in this ridiculous line that wrapped all the way around the venue. There were no separate lines for guests that bought tickets for $1 versus the people that bought VIP tickets. So literally people that got free tickets were going in before VIP members, which makes no sense because why did we pay extra to not get like benefits or like fast pass moving line or like to get first priority in registration. It just doesn't make sense. It was just one big disaster. With all that being said, I want to mention that I do know that this is Tana's first convention. I literally anticipated for something to go wrong with this convention because like I said, it was her first time doing this when it's anyone's first time doing something this big. You can kind of expect for things to be like a little messy, a little unorganized, but for the entire event to be shut down is just a reflection on how poorly planned this event was. Tana said that there was 5,000 tickets that were sold online and that the venue that they had booked was supposed to fit 5,000 people in it. But I heard that some people were talking to the workers and that they said that the hall that they booked out was only supposed to fit 700 to 800 people. Tana alone has 3.5 million subscribers. With those kinds of numbers and the numbers of the people that she put on her lineup, like Shane Dawson and his squad, the vlog squad, Emma Chamberlain, Sarah Baska, The Gabby Show, she should have planned for this to be a bigger event and made sure that it was organized enough so that she could do this event, an event this big. From what I gather though, the thing that f***ed everything up was that yes, there were 5,000 tickets that were sold, but because Tana was marketing this event as a free convention, 15,000 people showed up without tickets. And some of them were like writing and pushing other people and they were getting in first before the VIP members. And so within like the first hour of opening, the venue was already booked and there was still like 10,000 other people outside waiting to get in. And I was one of those people. I didn't even step foot in the venue, which is absolutely insane. It's like being robbed blind. <laughs> Another thing that I think could have really resolved any issue that had happened this weekend was Tana should have made sure that everyone knew that it was like yes it was a free event there were tickets that were available for one dollar and there were 65 dollar tickets for vip members but tana advertised it in a way that it made it seem like oh you don't need a ticket she literally said just roll through there's a tweet that i saw someone said that they were going to vidcon and she said it's okay just roll through i'm sure some of your favorite creators are going to be here at TanaCon. so she was just basically saying like you know anyone can come that was another big mistake she should not have done that she said that the venue was supposed to fit 5,000 people but it was two rooms in one big hallway it was like one big ballroom basically and people were saying that it was so small that 5,000 people could not fit in there so it was just like kind of depressing in there and I really don't know what she was thinking I really don't think she thought it through that much I mean she planned this whole thing in a month and that clearly shows. And I'm not trying to discredit her in any way. I'm sure she put a lot of effort into this. I'm sure she put a lot of her heart into it. And I know that her heart was in the right place when she wanted to make the event free and affordable for anyone who wanted to meet their creators, but she just really didn't think this through. And it's not just her. I know that she has a whole team behind her that helped her pick out the venue, helped her get security, helped her book the creators. They should have had her back too and told her like this, this can't happen. You need more time to prepare. Her and her team included really f***ing dropped the ball. She promised so many things to her fans that I really think that she should have made sure that she could 
fulfill those promises before doing so. I feel so bad because so many people traveled from all over the world to go see her. I was reading tweets that came from Florida, Indiana, Texas even, and that's insane. And for like all those people to like fly out here and to just have the event be canceled is just one major flop. Once they had told everyone that day one was officially canceled, I saw so many little girls just crying their eyes out, bawling because they were so sad that they didn't get to meet their favorite creators, let alone step in the building. That's crazy. And people were waiting in line since 6 a.m. and they didn't even get to step foot in the building. How does that happen? I get that Tana wanted to outdo VidCon and she wanted to make it more affordable, more fun, more free, just an all over better event, but you can't expect that to happen within a month's time span of planning. That just doesn't happen. VidCon was Wednesday through Saturday and TanaCon was Friday and Saturday. I really just think she was trying to like compete with them. Another thing that I noticed was the gift bag that Tana had promised to all of the featured creator VIP member. She said that the value of the gift bag would be quadruple the amount of the ticket. Now I didn't get to step inside the venue, I didn't get to get a gift bag, but I heard what was inside. And sweetie, it was not quadruple the amount of the ticket, it was a sticker and two condoms. So yeah, that's great. Everything was just so hyped up. The gift bag, the creators, the experience of the entire convention. She said that creators were gonna be walking around and that there was gonna be activities for people to do. But literally inside, people were saying that they were bored because there was nothing going on. So basically after day one was canceled, they were saying that day two was still gonna be scheduled to go up as planned and that everything was gonna be normal, that they were gonna book a place a couple blocks down the street so that it could be within walking distance. And we were just told to stay on social media to keep looking for updates and that they would tell us what was gonna go on for the next day. Tana kept tweeting that night like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm working to get it figured out and blah, blah, blah. At 5.20 in the morning, Good Times Live announced that they were officially canceling the entire event because it was a safety hazard. At first they weren't issuing any refunds, but from what I've heard now, they apparently are. I haven't gotten mine yet, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do once I stop filming this video. I gotta check if I can even get that. If I can, that's great. If I can't, what the fuck? If I'm being honest, uh, the main reason that I went was to go see Shane. When she announced that she was doing Canacon, I was interested, but I really wasn't planning on going. But then when she announced that Shane was gonna be her special guest, I immediately ran to go get tickets and I booked the hotel and I was just really excited overall to see Shane. And I think the majority of the people that went were there for Shane. The girls behind us waiting in line literally mentioned him over 50 times for no reason like they would just throw his name in and out of conversations i mean like i get it but like come on <laughs> so um i think that a lot of people went there for shane and and he's he's amazing too because he's telling people that he feels like he needs to make it up to us and it wasn't even his event you know so i think that's great i drew this little card for shane um with his underwear on it and like it looks like whatever, but like I wrote a letter to him and everything too. Like I literally just went for Shane. Like I really wanted to meet him, but I mean, I saw Kira Bridget walking around. I saw Dirty Dom handing out like tickets for some stupid shit. It was, it was so random. It was just like whatever. So, yeah, I'm trying to make the best out of this trip because I'm here for another day. But yeah, Tanacon was not good. It sucked.